first of all, if uh, my shelf is muffled, I'm talking to you through a mask. Sign of the times. I got contacted by wars, um, Europe's biggest and I think most successful Harley Davidson dealership. If I'm interested in the uh, live wire, to be quite frank, if it was any other Harley, I wouldn't have uh, even considered it. I rode them extensively, I know them inside out, but the live wire intrigues me, uh, as most electric bikes do these days. So this is the one that I've got for the day. It actually looks very good. Let me see if I can center it. I don't have the uh, full controls on my Osmo. I like it, especially in this uh, orange color. It's quite good. And uh, I'll, I'll do some tests on it, I'll do some charging, I'll tell you about the range. They told me that in eco mode they managed to get it 140 miles in town, which I, it's, it's mind boggling if, if, if I can make it do that. I, I doubt it because I ride differently and uh, I'm not riding to break a record. But even if it does 100 miles, that would be very good because it's got fast charging, uh, a standard on it, and and all that stuff. Uh, it's about 105 horsepower and 120, I think, pound foot of torque, something to that effect. We've got a black one over there as well. These are the colors. They're quite nice. That's another orange one here, and that's the black one here. You can see it there. So I'm riding it for the day. I'll get back to you and tell you what I think. So, let's see. He said, Switch it on, the bike comes alive, and then side stand up, so you press this, and we're ready to go. Currently it's in road mode, you can change the mode by pressing this, and cycle, this is rain, this is eco, which gives you obviously the maximum range. So far it's showing 100%. And 129 miles is the range. So I'm gonna start with road mode. I'm not gonna bother with eco, I'm not gonna bother with rain. And then we'll switch it to sport mode for some time. Mirrors are fine. Actually, the uh, riding stand reminds me of uh, that white one I rode in. What was, what was it called? I'll, I'll put it on screen, I forgot even the name of it. But it is, you're, you're leaning forward and the foot bent are a bit back. So let's see. I just managed to uh, make it show the uh, miles, 
So for the sake of being 100%, so it's 100% and it's 1,590 miles. And we'll see what transpires after that. Yeah. It's very nice. It is actually incredible. Yeah. I'm just test riding it. I don't own it. It's no. That's the future. Yeah, well it is. Yeah. Have a good day. Behind you. Congratulations! <laughs> I didn't want them to move. I didn't want them to move, but you just got just married. I was saying congratulations, you thought I'm telling him off. Is that electric one? Yeah. You don't hear it, man. No, <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Is he good, though? It's fantastic. It's brilliant, huh? Yeah. They have to put one of those things that they, they, they do the noise as well, man. Yeah, yeah. We can put like a cardboard at the spoke. <laughs>
Electric center, electric bike. Now, to be quite honest with you, when I read about the live wire and when Harley contacted me, or Wars, let's be uh, precise, contacted me about riding the live wire, I was skeptical. I thought, what would Harley Davidson know about electric bikes? I mean, they still measure their engines in cubic inch, for God's sake. But, I think they've done their research. I think they've done their homework. And they've done a magnificent electric bike. And I say it with the true sense of the word. I don't have any allegiance to them or anybody for that matter. But this bike is incredible. It is, I mean, everything on it is top-notch. From the suspension, to the brakes, to the drivetrain, to the way it feels, to the way it handles, to... Uh, I'm shocked. I'm, I really am, because I was really skeptical, guys. I didn't expect it to be this good. And it looks incredible, doesn't it? It really looks nice. Uh, I hope I could, I'm not using the Osmo because it's very windy and rainy and I, I hope there isn't much wind noise as I'm talking to you. Uh, I brought it in urban mode which is street equivalent to street mode on most bikes. And um, most of the time. And for commuting and so on you don't need anything more i didn't try rain or eco because they just kill the power and i believe in power to reduce danger 
I put it in sport mode. The it's incredible, but there's too much engine brake. I mean, regenerative braking. I'm still talking in ice uh, language. Regenerative braking. Um, it's quite troublesome, but I think it has three modes that you can customize using your phone and app and all that technology uh, thingy majingy whatever um, if i owned it i would customize it to have less regenerative braking at max power and max throttle response suspension wise it is very very good i mean this is a 250 kilogram bike and one of the things I criticize about the Zero is that the suspension couldn't cope with the weight. It was very crashy, very jarry. While on this, it is firm, but not crashy. So it gives you all the confidence. And, and it's very maneuverable, fantastic turning circle, very f good uh, low speed uh, balance and... Uh, in very, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm really shocked, honestly, I am. I mean, I came in not expecting anything. I thought they're going to try and tell me this is Harley DNA in an in a electric bike and all that marketing talk, but I haven't seen any of that stuff. I think they're saying, this is our electric bike. Yes, it's made by Harley Davidson, but it's a fresh approach. I really like it. Now, two things I don't like about it, that seat, I mean that seat belongs on a supermoto or one of my, uh, uh, the 511 or the TPI or even on a dirt bike, it, it is very firm, very thin, it's not comfortable, so if, if I owned it, I will change that seat, and then there is the, the throttle, it's a bit heavy and it, it's a lot of turning on it right most probably because it's electric and they're worried that people who come to electric bikes uh, come on I don't want my phone to go on now let me just check it in case it's my one of my tracker guys just one second sorry um, it wasn't one of my trackers where was I uh, I was talking about the throttle. Um, maybe because it is electric and, you know, instant torque from, from zero, that people are, you know, they, they, they make it like that. And even here, look at all these warnings. Electric motorcycles are different from other vehicles. They operate, steer, handle, and brake differently. I don't think so. I mean, yes, the only thing, if, if you're new to electric bikes, you've got to be careful of, is that instant torque. But they do work like they handle and they brake like motor normal motorcycles. Um, I said about the seat, I said about that. It, the power is incredible. They quote 105 horsepower and 120 pound foot of torque, something like that. I mean, it's instant. And this is what I love about electric motorcycles is that that instant availability of torque is is very very addictive guys um they do the charging i'm gonna go now how do you uh maybe i need to switch it on switch it on nice screen by the way very high definition Raise side stand. I'm not gonna raise it, I just wanna try and open this thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, you just press. <laughs> this is the charging. This one, if you have it at home, they give you obviously, and it's under the seat here. He, show, he showed it to me. And it's quite neat, the, 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 the design of it. I'll show you when I go to uh, charge it. And then here is when you take it to these powerful chargers. I think it charges from 0 to 100% in one hour and to 80% in half an hour, something like that. Which is, you know, very good. Now, 
I've done uh, 35 miles and I don't nanny it guys I'm not here to prove what the range is I ride them like I ride my other motorcycles right so I've done 35 miles I've got 66% left and 79 miles now they claim they got an eco mode to 140 miles I judging by this I believe them so if it will give me the 100 miles according to my riding in urban mode that is incredible because how many commutes is that I'm gonna go and find a uh, charge station so we can charge it for 10 minutes and see uh, what percentage that is gonna give us if I don't find one I'll let you know So we're going to try this uh, charge, currently it's at 62% with 73 miles left, I've done exactly 40 miles, um, switch it off, switch off, open So here goes nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna time it ten minutes. Okay, it's connected. So yeah, estimated time to full. One hour and fifty-six. Two thirty-six the time. Then four minutes and it's staying at... I don't know what's happening. I don't have time to waste on this. Once I put it right, I did everything according to that. Anyway, I don't just show you the successes, I show you the failures as well. <laughs> 